Hello and welcome back to HGL Tech Electric. In this video we are going to be talking about open circuits. An electrical circuit is a path or several paths made of conductors through which electrons can flow. To control the circuit, an electrical switch is added. To protect the circuit from damage in an overcurrent fault, a fuse or circuit breaker is added. In this circuit we are going to demonstrate different ways that an open circuit can occur. An open circuit occurs when any conductor or electrical component in the circuit breaks, burns, or separates to interrupt continuity. An open circuit prevents current flow in the circuit. When there is an open circuit fault, the resistance increases. According to Ohm's law, the current must decrease. If we measure the total current of the circuit with an ampmeter, we would observe that there is no current. However, we cannot conclude that the current will be zero in all circuits when there is an open. But surely the total current will decrease and the total resistance will increase. Let's look at these two circuits. One is a series circuit and the other is a parallel circuit. If we measure the current in both circuits, these are the values. You can pause the video now and calculate these values using Ohm's law. Now let's look at the values when an open occurs on both circuits. As we can see the current flow stopped and if we measure the resistance, the digital meter indicates OL on the screen. It means that the resistance is greater than the resistance value that the meter can measure. The reading exceeds the range of the display. We locate the fault in both circuits, we connect the circuits to their power sources. Now we are going to create an open circuit in a different location on both circuits and take the readings again. It is more convenient to use a clamp on meter to measure current in electrical circuits. In the series circuit there is only one path for current flow, it does not matter where it is open, the flow of electrons stops completely. On the other hand, in the parallel circuit, it depends on where it is open, however, as a general rule, we can conclude that in both cases the resistance increases and the current decreases.